You know, uh, what, one thing you just said that really resonated with me was about being intimidated by filmmaking and writing because it's so collaborative. Um, I had my first genuine experience uh, making television with Baron and, and uh, Comedy Central last year for the New Negroes. And, you know, as, as exciting, as, as thrilling as it was to come together and produce that sort of product uh, that we really like stand behind and pour our hearts into, uh, I found that it made me run, like run and go do some music because I can control music because I don't have to talk to anybody about uh, each individual choice uh, because because it's it's not a thing that has to be negotiated with me and other people. So I don't know that it just really resonated with me that, that, that you said that. And I wanted to share that as well. Yeah, I, I do think that like in having specific control over something that's already like in motion. I always feel way more ex like whenever I'm in a writer's room and like I love the collaboration aspect and then I love getting to go off and just do my thing because I'm just like it's it's so fun to collaborate with people and it feels great when the wheels are in motion but then getting the moment where you just get to go back to being like oh this is how often how I often work and this is how uh, I get a chance to just sort of be like I'm making something and I, I hope you guys like it I think you'll like it because I really like it just getting back to that moment where you're like here's my contribution here is me uh i would look like i'm proud of it i want you guys to see it it feels so good and that's why it's like i just i'm always like if i'm collaborating i need someone else to kickstart it in a way that i can just jump on and go like cool now it's me time mm. fascinating i mean it's the same for me and um you know stand up as well like being able to have stand up is the control freaks domain <laughs> you know it's mm -hmm. we're the writer and the director and the actor and the wardrobe stylist and all of those things so it's like it's a very different muscle than collaboration collaboration brings a different part of you forward but stand up uh or at least your if you will individual unique art the way that you express yourself where it's only about you know I have this idea and I got to get it out there and it takes as much time as it takes, you know, like there's no deadline really as much as that you just want to do it because it brings you joy, you know, but it's also the shame freaks nightmare because it's just getting up there and being <laughs> like, if you guys don't respond to each of these jokes, the way that I need you to, I'm going to hate it. I'm going to go home and just go like, well, I can't do this ever again. That is very true. But the thing about it, the key is that you always have to come back. You always have to face that shame. You know, have you ever heard of what, what's it called? Exposure therapy. You ever heard of that, yeah. Timmy? So it's that same thing. You know, little by little, you keep going back to that thing because nobody wants to bomb. That's the biggest thing that anybody who ever wanted to try stand up, you know, is, is scared of. But nothing teaches you more than bombing. Because right. you never want to do that again. It makes you go back to the drawing board. It makes you rewrite. It 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 can put a fire, you know, in your in your heart if you let it. So I guess that's all I'm trying to say is, you know, put a little fire in your heart. That's all I'm trying to say. That's pretty good. <laughs>